All right, how to create a star field in Adobe After Effects using trap code form. So I'm just gonna to go to new composition to start us off here. 1920 by 1080, 24 frames, good. And then add in a new solid layer. And that's where we're gonna to go to effects and presets. I've already got form typed in here. So our effect is right here under trap code, trap code form. Just gonna drag that over to my solid layer. Now trap code form is not something that comes built in with After Effects, but it is available over at redgiant.com and you can download that, a free trial for 30 days to test it out, see if that is something that you'd like to purchase. But it does give us a really easy and quick opportunity to create a nice 3D star field in Adobe After Effects. So now that I've got that applied to my solid layer, I'm gonna go and create a new camera layer. And if I hit C, I get the little camera tool to drag that around and we can see what we're working with to start here in trap code form. All right, so going back to my solid layer, we've got the effect parameters for trap code form. And if I drop down base form, we see particles in X and in Y here. They're both set to 70. I'm gonna change those to 15 each. And that, as you can see, just reduces our amount of particles, which for our purposes is gonna work better for this star field. All right, next under Disperse and Twist, I'm gonna crank up Disperse, just enough to make those stars fill the frame, probably something around six or 700. Should work, maybe a little higher, say 740-ish. Yeah, that should work. And believe it or not, we're almost done here. The last thing I'm gonna do is under Particle, We've got options for size random and opacity random. So size random, I'm gonna crank that up to something like 75 because not all stars are the same size. That'll just give us a bit more of an organic look, what we'd expect to see looking up to the sky at night if it was a clear sky. And then opacity random, crank that up just a bit because not all stars are the same brightness. And that's looking pretty realistic. And the last thing we're gonna do is just animate that camera. I've got the position property here, gonna create a keyframe at the start. And this is actually too long of a timeline. I'm gonna bring that back to probably seven seconds, trim comp to work area. All right, so I've got my first keyframe there. I'm gonna just move that playhead forward a bit. And this last property for our position values, I'm gonna crank that up to get our camera moving through that star field. All right, and then I'm gonna drag that keyframe to the end of my little work area, bring it back to the beginning and just hit play. And you can see we've got a nice little 3D movement through that star field. And if you wanted to use this for uh, part of an intro, maybe you could bring in a text layer. And to get real creative here, I'm just gonna call that star field. 3D enable that layer. Right here, take my caps lock off. Bring that back, hit play to render. And we've got a nice little star field animation. I think I'm gonna actually size up that star field text a bit. Scale that up, render that out, see how it looks. All right, yeah, so obviously you've got some options there, some parameters to play with, but that's basically how you quickly and easily create a star field in Adobe After Effects using trap code form. Hopefully that's helpful.